How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another tutorial on AE Tuss with Ryan. This week we're going to be looking at uh, one of the most recent videos which was Quarantined Episode 3, uh, Lethal Weapons, and that one effect in that video which was the muzzle flash when the gun was fired next to my face. So, we're gonna right, uh, go ahead and grab your footage. I'm gonna go ahead and bring mine in right here. Drop that in. Next thing you're gonna do is drag it into a new comp. Find where you want it to start. It looks like right here. I'm gonna go a few shots and then I blow it because why not? Go ahead and right click in the work area, trim the comp to the work area, give ourselves some space, stay organized. I'm gonna go ahead and rename this to footage. Now, next thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to find where your first shot is. Looks like right there, right when the trigger's pulled, so right there. And then I'm gonna bring in my muzzle flash. Now, to find your muzzle flashes, um, you have two options. One, you could go onto Google Images and search for royalty-free pictures of muzzle flashes. Or two, there are companies such as Video Copilot or Action VFX who provide uh, packs of uh, video files of muzzle flashes being shot in which you can purchase those um, for your video. So, I got my muzzle flash. I'm going to bring it in. I'm going to go ahead and rotate it around 180 degrees. Bring it over to where my gun would be. So, like right there. I'm going to change the blending mode to add. So there's that. I'm going to go ahead and turn the opacity down a tiny bit. See right there? And I'm going to hit option, left bracket, right bracket, which is going to make that one frame long, which is what we want. It's a muzzle flash. It's not going to stay for a long time. So if we play that back really quick, bam, already looks pretty good. If you show that to somebody, they'd say, whoa, how did you do that? Really, we didn't really do anything yet. So I fired the gun a few times. I'm going to go ahead and find each spot. I'm going to just duplicate the muzzle flash and reposition it for each frame. And don't forget to reposition just around. Make sure they're in the good spots. And it looks pretty good. So if we watch, if we play that back. Looks pretty good. Now to me, well if you show this to someone, they're going to say, whoa, that looks pretty good. But to us, we know that that is one image of a muzzle flash. Uh, there's no variety to it. So we can go ahead and give it some variety by, um, after the first one, you can just play around with the scale, um, maybe the rotation and the position of the actual muzzle flash to make it look just a little bit different than all the other ones. So when the gun is actually being fired, you're not saying, oh, that looks really fake. you know. So just go ahead and play with the um, transform options of each of those. If we play that back. See, it already looks better because we're adding variety to it. So. Uh, one important thing is sound effects, gun sound effects, of course, but before we get to that, we're going to do uh, go ahead and do some light fall off. So what we can do is we can take our original footage layer, duplicate it, we're going to call it light, and I'm going to change the blending mode on that to add as well. And you're going to see it gets super, super exposed. So we're going to grab the pen tool, and I'm going to draw just in areas that there might be light from the muzzle flash, so maybe the gun, Maybe my hand and the, my forearm, um, the face, a little bit, half the head, and then maybe a little bit of the shoulder, um, the screens down here, whoops, you know, just a little bit, a little more variety. So we can go ahead and grab, uh, hit F on the keyboard, feather each of those out. Um, by a good amount. Say this first one's a little small, so like 50 pixels. Uh, second one, I'd say 50, 55. Third one, just just feather them out until not so, not so much that they look like they were added, but so it actually looks like there there was light there. So right there maybe, and then for this one right there. And now we're gonna take T for the opacity, and just turn those down to about like 40 percent. We don't want it to be too too much. So you're gonna hit um, option left bracket right bracket again and you're just gonna let those happen on the muzzle flashes so drag them over and if your actors moving a lot you're gonna have to re reposition your mask luckily for us this footage clip is not um, very very mobile so there's really nothing to worry about I'm gonna keep duplicating there we go and last one so if we play that back
looks pretty good. So, the big seller for any effect is sound effects. It might look really cool, but it'll be even cooler with the sound. So, what I'm going to do is I went to uh, Film Riot, and they have this quarantine pack that they recently released. It is free. It has some music, some visual effects a assets, sound effects, and LUTs, color LUTs. And in that uh, sound effects pack, there is a gun sound effects pack. So this one just has pistol shots. I'm going to bring it in. And there are various shots. Now they're all a little different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it in. I'm going to put it on top. Drop it down for the audio waveform. And there's that first one right at the beginning. So I'm going to find my first shot. Looks like right there. The trigger's pulled. And I'm going to just hit left bracket and that's going to drag that over. Now what I'm going to do is the second shot looks like right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate, or I'm going to control shift D, drop or close that, drop this down, and I'm going to bring that over for that one to start. And then I'm going to alt left bracket just so I don't waste any audio. And it looks like right there. So if we play those two back. All right. And now the reason I'm uh, splitting the layers is because I don't want to lose any audio if I were to trim it and then the sound effect would just cut and it would sound bad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate there, but I'm that bottom one I'm going to option right bracket and stop it. But for this next gunshot, I'm going to close this audio and I'm going to bring this down to let that overlap for this one. Option left bracket. So those three. That one actually lined up pretty well for that but it isn't perfect, so I'm going to drag it over a little bit. And then another one right there. Go ahead and duplicate it. Drop it down. Find it. Looks like right there. Whoops. And then bring it over. Bam. And then while we're here, we'll control shift D. Find that last muzzle flash and bring this one over. So it looks like it'll be And that's because this one was never cut. So we'll cut it right there. Bam. And if we play all those back, if all goes well. Cool. So um, another thing to take into consideration is you want your sound effects to match um, how the audio sounds in the room that you're shooting in or whether it's inside, whether it's outside, whether it's in a very echoey room or a very compact room. So in this case, there's a little bit of echo on each of them. So thanks for checking out this week's tutorial of the muzzle flash on EE Test with Ryan. I will leave a link in the description below for um, this footage file as well as um, the muzzle flash I used, and then you can hop on over to a link in the description for Film Riot's uh, free quarantine pack. So, thanks for checking out the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next week.